What's going on guys, Jagira here, and I have a lovely, beautiful live commentary for another video for all of you playing the Lawbringer once again, doing some 1v1s at high foot, and we are up against another Lawbringer. Uh, this is, uh, this is going to take a while. Now, this is quite boring. Um, good luck, have fun. Well, I hope oh, some of what? you have, uh, and he's rep 20 as well, so he's going to know how to play. This is going to be Boring as hell. Alright. Oh. Oh, missed that. There we go, on the floor. Oh, get the heavy in. That's the good thing. Alright. Oh, no, you didn't dodge that time. Okay. We're being a bit more proactive than I actually think was going to happen. Okay, this is actually going pretty well. Good dodge. There you go, my shove just to stop his heavy. Okay. Didn't see that one coming. Oh, okay. I just went for a toe stab like a gladiator. This is the issue when you play another class too much. There we go. Send him flying. Victory. It's actually gone pretty well for the first round. And for some reason, I don't know, I must have been messing around yesterday because now my execution key for my neck choke is now on the wrong key. That's more depressing. Round two. Bollocks. Oh well, I have to say though, at least this uh, isn't taking as long as I thought it was going to. Which you know is obviously very nice. All right, hello again, good sir. No, no. There we go. I need to stop trying to go for toe stabs. It's not going to do anything. Oh, nice guard break. Good. There you go, get the Admortem in. No, okay. Nope. There we go. There we go. Should have said that too many times in a row, but it doesn't matter. Get the next snap. Victory. Oh. And there goes the other law bro. I am the only law bringer. You know, I'm like the Highlander version of the law bringer. There can only be one, and that's me. All right. Got to give him. You got to give him credit for style, though. He's very stylish. No. 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 Yes. The guard break fiasco. No, okay. No, bugger. I think I'm close to an edge. I don't like this. I'm just going to gently walk forward so I can get away from that. Good parry. Should have cancelled that. Alright. So, we've probably got this one in the bag. There we go. Good fight. So that was pretty good. That's very good for the first game. You know, light parries equals win. Pretty much, yeah. He is right. So that was pretty good for a first game. I, uh, beating another law bringer. You know, showing my dominance as the King of Lord, this game punishes for natural slow reaction, and that's me. Oh, that's the fight. That's fighting games in general for you, my good sir. And um, let me just. That's... Oh, he's gone. Doesn't matter. All right, we'll go do one more game, and I'll see you guys after that one. So yeah, see you when we're in there.
So we found ourselves in the next game. We were at the Shard doing a duel, and we're up against a raider. Admiak777, and our skill is slightly lower. So all right, we shall uh, uh, we shall win. I have faith in us. Albeit a small amount, but I have faith. Oh, I wonder what he's going to do. Probably do the stunning tap mix-ups. He's got a load of bugs flying around him. I have the sun, so... No, okay, didn't go. Bollocks, okay. Missing quite a bit here. Alright. Good light parry. Oh, very well done. Well, first round is gone to him. And, uh... Yeah. Disappointing. I made a few mistakes there. And also his light parry was just on point. He was obviously expecting that. Round two. One of the annoying things when you go from an assassin who can basically somewhat hide their guard stance compared to a Lordbringer where you're going to see where they will be attacking from. There we go. That's what I wanted to do the last game. Nope. No. Oh, God. Didn't expect that one to go. Damn it. Ooh. Oh my god, you've not, have you? Okay, nah. Still close. Nope. Here comes the stunning tap one. There we go. Ooh. That was close, but we've regained the round, you know. We are not going down without a fight. So obviously we just need to parry the stunning tap a little bit better. And this guy can obviously parry lights very well. So for any of you who are going to say you're being a turtle, I can't really do much. If I go for fainting a heavy, he's probably going to do that. Nope. Oh, shouldn't have done that. That was a good find. Look there, parry the light straight away. So he's on the deck. Right. <laughs> okay, I'm not too sure what I did there. I don't know if I was going backwards while attacking or doing something, but whatever it was, it didn't work. So, for anyone who watched this, do not do what I just done. That is for idiots only, such as myself. And we're on round four, he's probably going to go for a stampeding charge. Oh no, he didn't. Okay. Oh. I'm used to most raiders going for stampeding charges. Without our stamina, I should have been a lot more careful of that. Yeah, I'm now gone. Bye, guys. Oh, it's okay. He's out of stamina. I don't want to be in the corner. Thank you. Oh, I thought I went to parry that. Oh, okay, this is tense. No, okay, he's not falling for the same trick twice. Thought he would have gone for a dodge. Nope. It's so, alright, there we go. Even the scoreboards. So we get the final round now. Victory! Oh, this is pretty good. So yeah, guys, I uh, 
When you're up against a good rider as a Lawbringer, just watch out for the stunning tap, watch out for the potential mix-ups, and you should be fine. Round five. And always, always, and this goes for any class for this one, always keep an eye on your stamina, because to me the Raider's got one of the strongest out of stamina punishes in the game. You know? There we go, went for the dodge. Didn't go for the dodge that time. Oh, okay. You see, Lawbringer's got no out of stamina punish, basically. Hello? Oh! Victory! I was clearly that awesome, I just forced him to disconnect from the game. No worries, guys. I got this. Right, well, I think what we're going to do is, you know... We'd all have to go see. Well, let's, yeah, let's do one more game. Because, you know, that ending was a bit anticlimactic. We'll just do another game. And we'll uh, hopefully be able to finish it through all the rounds. And for our last and final game, we are at the Cathedral. It's sunny, which is always nice. And we are up against the White Knight. So. Oh, and it's the Le, Le White Knight. Le White Knight. It's my horrible French accent. And he's playing as a gladiator, so uh, this will be interesting. I'm not too sure what his rep is. Apparently we are higher in skill, but remember, you should never trust that. Because you one. can get absolutely munted by someone who uh, you apparently have higher skill than with. It all comes down to how well you know the class. Okay, you ready? Let's go. Hey, you do that. There we go. What are we looking for? Okay. See what I meant? Uh, I'm, I'm literally on the ropes here. No. Need to stop going to parry that because I ain't got the timing down for it yet. There you go, but we're out of stamina. Avoid the toe stab of doom. Oh, okay. And we get the poke just as he comes in. Whew. So a bit of a rocky start, but you know we managed to secure it towards the mid and therefore win them during the end. Just got to look out for the toe stabs, look out for the quick attacks, and in my case, I need to know the parry timing for the sucker punch. You know, he followed up with a heavy. If he didn't go for the heavy afterwards, I could get a free guard break, but, you know, you can't always... Uh... Oh! That was weird. Right. He went all the way back. Hit him with a few lights. Get his guard break. Nope. Victory. And use those few lights just to secure him off. So, while he's good at getting his combos going, he's not that good on deflecting and he's not that good on parrying. We can Round therefore use this to our advantage. By just being a bit more aggressive. And by parrying, I mean parrying light attacks. I am not too sure what he's like with heavies, to be honest with you. He's not once full for that, though. So there you go, hit him with a few lights there. Block that. Accidentally missed, I wanted to go do an Ad Mortem Imicus. Ooh, I didn't... Dash back in time. Alright. Issues. Ah. Free guard break. Alright. Oh, nicely done. Just watch out for the toes. What are you going to do now, my good sir, huh? What are you going to do now? No? Okay. 
Nope. Damn it. Watching out for the toes. Like that. There we go. Free guard break. Finish it up with an X snap. All about predicting the mix ups. Oh, and we actually got a game. Where are you? Uh, we managed to get it all the way to the end. That's pretty good. So, yeah, guys, when you're against Gladiators, just focus on the mix ups and watch out for the toes. And that's mainly just my tips of Gladiator. Obviously, it's an easy class. Well, it's an easy class to play against. can be a bit difficult. So just watch out for your toes and remember the certain attacks that do allow you to get a free guard break on them. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this live commentary and well, these duels of me as Lawbringer. I'm starting to feel a bit more comfortable playing with him again, you know. It has been a while and, you know, like I said in my last video, it's a bit like riding a bike. After a while, you do get back into the muscle memory of things. So guys, like I said, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please a like. So guys, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. That is greatly appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, how about you hit that subscribe button and become absolutely awesome. I've been Jagira. All of you have been amazing for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care and bye-bye.